talk. I gotta tell what I feel. I gotta talk about my life as I see it. We're live. Good evening, ladies, not gentlemen. Let's go, let's go. Welcome to another uh, edition of the Beanbag Boys podcast. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm, like you can see, we're missing a couple, a few of them, but it's all right. You have us three. That's all you need. Um, this is just a quick episode. We just wanted to chill. Um, it was literally just right off the bat episode. It was just honestly, you guys are yeah. We. It's been a while since we actually put our, our what was it, our second episode? But, yeah, um, it's been a couple of weeks actually now. Yeah, yeah. Like a, lot, a lot was going on in our lives, so we had to handle some business first and then make sure, you know, all right, get that situated and yeah. get back to business. To another one, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we had, we had a couple of things going on from since the last pod. Um, I'll, I'll try to bring it up maybe the next pod because I really want to talk about it when he's here, Donovan. Um, he had just got back from EDC. It was fun. It was really fun. But I want to wait on that until he comes. But um, but for right now, I mean, uh, this emergency podcast, or whatever, I mean, whatever you want to call it, uh, all came together by, I think, Leon. He just wanted to come together. Uh, what was the reason? The main reason what is from all these decorations right here. Boxing. Boxing. Yeah. We're going to talk about AEW. No, oh. I'm just kidding. We're talking about WWE. Top is to be nothing but WWE today, so I'm gonna let Nathan talk. And a little bit of AEW, just in general, some wrestling. wrestling. Yeah. 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 So for you guys, yeah. pretty much, this to be a wrestling podcast, pretty much. Um, something light, you know. Just wanted to chit chat, all to get to get get together, you know. We were all free, so might as well give you a wrestling podcast for all those wrestlers out there, wrestling fans out there. I want to say, um, but anything you guys <laughs> want to throw out there about wrestling or anything you have so far? Before um, I pull up the note, I have a couple notes, but before in short, right now wrestling is booming. Wrestling mm-hmm. is hot right now. Wrestling, it is so, honestly so much. Whether like no matter what company you're in right now, there there's a lot going on with like it. Between, it yeah, it's refreshing new storylines. Some better than others. I mean, it's always going to be like that. But in general, like wrestling business is booming. Absolutely boom booming. Yeah, I, I do see that because... Excuse me, Adam, for music. Oh, I know. <laughs> I, 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 think, yeah. I think the reason is because, you know, we got, we got old man out. We Vince McMahon? Names yeah. will not be named, but hey, you know uh, what? Vince McMahon. <laughs> no, but yeah. you honestly, know, like, like you said, though, like it, it has been booming because uh, I, I don't know if you guys have been noticing, but I've been noticing a lot of people like have been talking about wrestling now. Like uh, girls that I've known that they're talking about wrestling now. Like back then, like, you didn't really hear about these girls like knowing wrestling too much. It was, it was usually guys, right? Yeah. But now, uh, like women are talking about wrestling. They're getting into it. Um, celebrities. Um, fuck it. I just saw the other day, sexy red. Oh, she's bro, yeah, yeah. See, okay, you know what? Like, talking about that. That's oh, coming hilarious. Again. Yeah, I can't wait to Get see that. Sexy. Get it sexy. <laughs> Get it sexy. Oh, but, uh, but no, sexy red. So that influence. That's how you know, like wrestling's booming because of that influence. But I feel like now, because it, it's now, like, people around our age where, it, you know, like, it's cool to just, you know, be into I mean, it. It's been, it's always been like the celebrities, Mike Tyson. Yeah, that's true back then. It's true. We got, uh, uh, fuck, Floyd. Snoop Dogg's been there for fucking forever. That's yeah. very true. Bro, even Kim Kardashian was a host Kim of Kardashian. WrestleMania. Snooki. WrestleMania. Yeah. My president, Snooki got a, Donald Trump. She got a Mac. That Donald man got in the ring, WrestleMania Steve 23. Austin? That was a good one. Well, Steve Austin? Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was uh, Hammer versus Hammer. Well, yeah, yeah, I guess. It's always, but Robin. honestly, though, like, maybe just because we were wrestling fans, we've been seeing that there was a decline, but, like, in the last couple of years, at least last oh, six, it's, it's seven been, years. It was boring. It's, oh, it's yeah. been boring, you know? So, I, for sure, like, this revamp, especially with The Rock coming back, like, he helped a lot. Like, mind you, whatever, but he did help a lot of, like, revamping the fucking company and like stringing back that that hype again yeah. i'm not one into like to like to dig into ratings or nothing but i mean like you could see that when when he did show up to you know have his short feud you know yeah. with cody helping out the rock in the bloodline it you got fans from like way back then or even people were just who, who don't like they used to tune in like you know back in like their time when they're yeah. like oh the rock you know what Let's let's flip the channel. Let's yeah. see what's going on, and you know that short investment it builds up. Like greatest thing, look, one of the arguably for me, 
one of the greatest matches we got. Oh and, yeah, and then like you said, the old fans like they're like. Hollywood Rock is back? Like, when the hell, when do we ever, like, yeah, especially no one expected that when his theme song came out. Especially was like, like, wait a minute. Like, that, that wasn't our generation Rock per se exactly. too much. That, our, that wasn't our generation too much, but that generation, like, we got to see, like, Hollywood Rock back again. Like, because to them, that was dead already. That era is dead. Yeah. To them, like, we're never going to see that era again. And that's why Hollywood so tuned out. And, you know, like, it. And for to have that back again, and I think Rock portrayed that Hollywood era, like, Perfect, I think. And he's not even over. He's coming back. Oh, yeah. He's He's definitely coming back. He has to, 100%. There's a lot of unfinished business there. And I'm hoping Vegas. Oh, I'm hoping Vegas. Yeah, that might be the next. Hey, that might be the next. uh, Well, not next podcast, (laughs) but it might be a podcast of us being in Vegas. It might be us three again just talking about wrestling because, hey, WrestleMania this 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 year, right? Yeah, this coming up year. This upcoming year. 2025, though. Uh, WrestleMania 41. Uh, it's gonna be in Las Vegas, yeah. so we're definitely at the Legion Stadium Raiders. So I definitely gotta go. So for sure, you'll catch me there. I mean, if we see you guys there, if you see us there, please don't don't, don't be shy. Yeah, don't be please, please. Please. If you have a belt, please challenge us. We'll, <laughs> we'll beat you. We'll take your belt kindly. We'll, we'll take your belt. We'll be sitting, we'll we'll be sitting you. next to Michael Cole and Pat McAfee with our mics like this. <laughs> yes. Right yeah. Right so. Definitely, guys. If you guys see us there, and you, you guys know you guys are going to be there, please let us know in the comments. Let us know when you see us there. Just give us a, a hi or something. We just we like to see you guys. And not to be off topic, but I I did come across a fan. And yes, it's not it's not like our family or nothing. It was actually a fan, like a random. Where I came in out. Uh, was- yeah, it was. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it was out in Ontario Mills. I was walking by, and um, yeah, they're like. They looked at me. They were they were staring at me a little bit, and I was looking at them weird too. I'm like, <laughs> I, I was like, I saw them like I'm looking at me, and um, I was getting uh, was it Wetzel's pretzels? So I was getting a pretzel, and they were in front of me, and they look, and I'm like, all right, whatever, and I get my pretzel, and they're off to the side, and like, um, like I seen you from somewhere, but I don't remember. I'm like, oh really? I'm like, um, I'm like. Uh, can you remember? Like, I was like, really? Like, I was trying to like chit chat, like, from what? Yeah. From what? And I was like, I saw it on YouTube. What? And then from instant YouTube, I was like, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't, I didn't think of our stuff first. I was thinking more like that for Nate, right? Wait, wait, I was like, then, yeah, way no. back then, because yeah. I mean, I didn't put two together. I was like, life, I was like, well, I did it like a, a, a vlog, like for Nate. He goes, no. Oh no, yeah, no, but the podcast, the beat that boy. I was like, yeah. Yeah. Like being bad ones, like yeah, I watch you guys' stuff. I was like, no way. And then um, he's like, yeah, you guys are really good. And I was like, keep up the good work. And I was like, okay. And then that was it. We chopped it up. That was it. Like nothing after that. But he laughed. And I was like, I was thinking to myself, like, oh shit, like, people actually like tune that in and cool. they watch. So that was cool. That was a really good uh, experience. That was really good. So like I said, if you guys see us in Vegas, WrestleMania weekend, or, 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 or any, yeah, yeah, anywhere. Just say at work. If you see him at work, not work. <laughs> just not at the gym. Um, I'm, in my, I'm in my zone. Yeah. Just spot Leon, please, for the love of God. Me. All right. Spot so, him. So let me get into it. I opened up my email. Oh, that's crazy. That's support hub. What are you talking about? All right. Wait a minute. Leon, what got you into wrestling? Damn. That's a good question. I think just honestly, just Rey Mysterio itself. Oh, Mr. Ryan, yeah, because he was short. I'm short. A little bit, if you guys want to know him. Even before, a little bit. It's always short, and I just you know this man know. flying high, beating people, big big show, Mark Henry, the great Colleen, taking them down. I was like, damn, that's crazy. Like a David and Cole. Yeah, Goliath I think, I, honestly, I remember, honestly, my first match I ever watching was uh, Eddie Guerrero and Rey Mysterio in the, in the ladders match for the, the Custody of Dominic. Dominic. Oh, yeah. I, I think that was my first ever Custody match. Custody of Dominic yeah. match? That's a good one. Yeah. Well, you, you're rocking their shirt. Show them out real quick. Show, stand up. Show them the yeah, front. Right. Oh, you both of you guys are huh? on a different team, but it's oh, Rey Mysterio show, and show, show it, show it. Both, both Eddie and, and Rey. Yeah, put them on. You know, no gatekeep. No gatekeep. No, I'm, I'm gatekeeping this. So I'm I, don't sorry. Know, I think this is a. I think it's Bonte. It has to be. It might be um, Yeah, this is Bonte. 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 Hey, Bonte. your shirts. It's by Bonte. Fire, Fire bro. Okay. D one. All right. All right. What about you, Nathan? What What got you in wrestling? <laughs> um, me. I would want to say, uh, uh, John Cena. I want to say John Cena yeah. just because, um, 
just that whole and I got into John Cena with that like the Doctor of Thugonomics John Cena. So word that live. was kind of yeah, word live. Word live. Yes, that sir. was that was my John Cena. So I mean, just this whole persona like hip hop, fucking rapping, some someone who was rapping outside. Oh, yeah. Um his tees were always fired, jean shorts. Um, I feel like back when I was younger, that was me, like wearing jean shorts. And at least uh, you always caught me with like a wrestling tee. Back then, they had the wrestling tees where it was a regular tee, but they had little figures like, yeah. like Batista. It was it like was an animal. back then. Yeah. yeah, John Cena. They had, had a pit bull like with too. John Cena's like. Oh yeah. So John oh, yeah. Cena, yeah. Um, just what he stand for too, and I think he was. Um, yeah, pretty much John Cena is what got me really into him. Um, would you say he would be like a childhood hero to you in a sense? Or? But here, here's the thing. I'm like mixed match toss because I do love John Cena, but I really love my heel, Randy Orton. Okay. Uh, yeah. Randy okay. Orton is top dog. Like, yes, John Cena because of just his style. That's the, that's the era I grew up in. Mm-hmm. You know, and you, can, you can't forget his fucking album. No, what what wrestler? What what wrestler, what wrestler can you say that has a fire ass album? And not even, and not even, I'm not even being biased. You could even like, I put some of my old coworkers on. They loved his album. They what? loved his Did album. He only had two, right? I think he just like one. Well, he's a John Cena, but my second for sure. Randy is Randy. Like, at least, okay, I have to have a heel with a face. It's got to be them too. So. Arguably, Randy. Might yeah. arguably be the great one of the greatest heels. If, if he's not the greatest out of all time, he, he's at for sure top three. Yeah, and like, but for sure not three. Yeah, no. no. Well, we could agree. Yeah, we, yeah. We could agree. He is literally have the top best finisher. Yeah. 100%. Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah. Like I, I, I could argue maybe John Cena isn't the first number one uh, baby face, but I'm, I'm, I'm fighting riding to know. death. That Randy is the number one uh, uh, here. I, I honestly, I put Cena as the top baby as face, number one, only for the fact because of all time, the kids, kids have never turned on him. Yeah, you, you get older, like you know, us kids, you know, okay, well, maybe yeah, like, we, but kids have, growing, yeah. yeah, as adults, because you know, we we get interested, you yeah. know, in the in the villain, where like you said, you yeah, know, yeah, Randy yeah. Orton, you know, you have your Randys, your Triple H's, yeah, Ric Flair's, you have all these people, you know, to look up to for heels, so a different character besides, you know, always rooting for the hero to be different, but one man who ha- who's never like literally changed and has kept it solid is Cena. You people get older, and then that's where you see the change. Yeah, but the main common ground is kids. Still love John Cena. No, he did have a, a little heel when he joined forces with NXT. He did have that heel. Temporarily. Temporarily, but people yeah. hated him for that. Yeah. Well, I know I did. But I want to I wanna say the kids kind of knew behind or, him. I'm sorry, NXT Nexus. Him. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said NXT, I wanna, sorry. I wanna well, see, I mean, it was still I, the same. I want to say the kids kind of knew, saw that BS behind that, and they're like, oh, yeah, he's not fully going to turn yeah. heel. Yeah, because, I mean, it's true. I mean, Hulk Hogan turned heel oh, yeah. with the NWO. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, even Roman Reigns, well, as of right now, he's turned heel. So it's like, yeah, it's true. Uh, uh, um, evolution. Well, yeah. And, evolution and, uh, was great. So what about yourself? What, what was got, your, uh, what got you, yeah, what got me into wrestling? What got you into wrestling? So I'm going to kind of put it into two parts. Uh, so I'm going to put it with the question you had asked earlier, you know, what's my earliest wrestling memory? And this is my earliest wrestling memory is what got me into it. So um, okay. I, was, I was a kid and... I was watching TV with uh, with my parents. We were just trying to find something to watch on TV, and my dad was slipping through, and wrestling came on, and my dad was like, "Oh, I haven't seen this in a minute." So you know, you know, pops is a little older, so you know, back in his day, you know, got your Stone Cold, your Rock, okay. et cetera. Also, he grew up. In so yeah, he, he, grew, he grew up in you know all that. So, okay. So then uh, he's like, "Oh, look, check this out!" And well, watching, uh, it's Batista. Okay. But this is in a steel cage with, I believe, Mark Henry. I, I believe mm. there's more people in this match. I, I want to say it was a tag team match. Now, okay. for, for the fans, I, I don't know if you guys remember. Because I was going to say, that, was, that might have been Mark Henry's debut. I don't know if it was a debut. No, because no, no, he, he's been there since forever. Since his debut that. was with... He was a... Sexual Chocolate. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. But th- this might be around the time when he's be- he finally became, you know, like, the world's strongest mm-hmm. man. Maybe he debuted a new character, but okay. in a sense, like... In the company now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, I already knew of him in a sense, like later. Okay. Um, 
I remember Mark, I think he like ripped off the door or something off the suitcase. Or like something <laughs> yeah, was happening. Yeah, it was but a little death match. It was a yes, death match. Okay, okay. Was, Mark Kelly just came out of nowhere. They were having a feud, I guess. And they were, he was trying, they were trying to chop it, but he couldn't, so he just shook it and yeah. opened it all yeah. right through, something, right? He just broke something. I was like, oh shit, like, like what? Oh, obviously, you know, as a kid, you don't you don't expect this thing, these kind of things to you be. You look, this man is strong. You know, like, what? Yeah, exactly. Though. Exactly. <laughs> he just ripped so, off the cage. So I remember, like, I was like, dang, this is cool. But I also remember my mom was like, honey, change the channel. You know, can't be watching this. You know, I, you know parents didn't want me to grow up with violence or nothing. So, you know, it had been, I watched a little bit. But then I was like, well, you know, as long as he's not, you know, don't do it at school. <laughs> don't do it to your friends or nothing. You know, yeah. watch it. Yeah. Enjoy it. But don't you know? Don't, no, don't be stupid. Do it, yeah. Don't be stupid. Say so, like like the, like they always said on, on when they like promote the thing. Don't try this at home. Don't and, try this. But we still don't exactly. we still try this at home. We still try this at home. All of us in fans, <laughs> don't try it at home. Yeah. Yeah. So honestly, that that's how it happened for me. And then well, I I just started watching Friday Night. So I, I'm mm-hmm. a diehard SmackDown fan. One hundred percent. Fuck Raw. I don't care. I mean, even some of my favorites are summer, but. Uh, mm-hmm. Smackdown till I, I mean, die. I mean, Smackdown yeah. till I die. So, okay, so your favorite memory for sure was Batista and that Mark Henry match, that moment. Like, that one, that's that, what that got, one got, me got you. Yeah, got and you, then, like, like, overall, like, character, like, wrestler, Rey Mysterio and Batista. Um, like Leon said, you know, small dude, the mask was appealing, it was different. My my dad also grew up watching uh, Mexican wrestling, you know, so you okay. get all the Lucha Libre, right? Uh, I don't know, but I think before, just, just even before, just okay, just, 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 just yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah. You, know, you know, it's, it's heritage, it's you know, everything is mask, honor, you know, you have your your heroes, your villains, it's it's there, it, it's great, you know, high flying, and you're like, whoa, like a, a guy can move like that, yeah, you know, at our age, so, you know, so like seeing that, like having that transferred over to WWE, you're like. Oh, oh exactly. yeah. Like, what the heck? Like, this is it. And my dad, well, he was big on Rey Mysterio even prior to him joining WWE. So he's like, you know, like, you got to watch him. Like, trust me, he's he's, good. he's so good. Oh, yeah. And so from there, I'm just like, okay. Whoa, like, yeah. Dude is small. You know, as a kid, you know, we're not big kids or nothing, you know, it's smaller. And wow, like, a small guy like that can really move and you. You get hooked, you know. Yeah. It, it's literally like watching. And, and, and you know what? A superhero to to beanbag off of that. Like that's kind of something too. Like that, that now that you're saying it, like wrestling does kind of like, or at least yeah, or wrestling WWE kind of teaches you a lesson. Like it grows grows with you because it also shows you like if a little man can do it and conquer this, I can do it too. Exactly. If, if a little man, Rey Mysterio, can conquer, can stand up to this bully, Great Khali. Undertaker and Batista and exactly. win. I could do it, and so like I I, I see that because I, I got that myself. Like when I was younger too, I'm like, oh, like these little people, like there is something like that. There is hope. Yeah. So that I mean, I can see that too. I'm like, oh, yeah, that's really good. The side of the laundromat, always watching huh. SmackDown on the TV, always Friday night. bro. Friday, Friday, nights, Friday nights because yeah. back then, I mean, my you know my parents didn't have you know the the uh, laundry like in the at home ones you know okay. dryer and washer so we always had to go to the laundromat every Friday night. Okay. So every Friday nights, me my mom would take me and I'd help her, and then I'm right there always in that corner watching just SmackDown all the time, <laughs> all the time in that entrance. So like every time I hear that the the theme music from back then. Nostalgia, bro, because they always take me back to the laundry room, and it never raw. Raw, I feel like it was more home. Smackdown was that you always remind me at the laundry room. Always <laughs> laundry room, a corner of those square ass TVs. <laughs> the other ass TVs barely can hear it, but that was that was my for me like so, my. To I, lean back off of that, my Smackdown was also my favorite. Me? It was always me, but here's why: I was not allowed to watch Raw, and here is why. So one day. I got home, like, oh, okay, it's Monday. Monday Night Raw, hell yeah, let's go. And I was watching in my living room, right? And it was just the intro. And if you guys remember the intro, there was so one part where the girl's like this, <laughs> right, half naked. <laughs> and my mom, my mom comes in, and she's like, que verga esta mierda, no me fregues, 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 no me fregues,
I'm like, Bob, it's wrestling. It's like, it's like que, que yo miro. And, you know, my Spanish is broken that time. Yeah. Like, it, it, it's lucha libre. Que miro, miro oh, los viernes. No. And she's like, she, no me importa. Quita de mi arte ahorita. And I was like, oh, okay. Richie King Kardashian. Yeah. And I was like, okay, okay. So since then, every time Monday, she would she would watch me when I watch on my room, <laughs> and if she sees the words anything in red, like raw or anything, the R, I was like, like nah. she's like, no, nah, take that shit off. But on Friday, she was fine because you know it was blue. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> WWE made us the horny monsters that we are today, yeah, yeah, and that's that is right. no cap. WWE no. back then was unhinged. No, yeah, no cap. No, no cap. cap. So I mean, I'll go on with you first, Leon. Um, your furthest memory of Chow, your yeah. first memory of WWE being like make horny. It, make me horny? That is easy. Yeah. Just for Kishi in general. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, no, I think uh, <laughs> hey, if I was able to pull up a clip, <laughs> if I can know how to pull up a clip, I'll pull up a clip of Rock Kishi's ass. <laughs> <laughs> no, Rock, no, thing, no I'm just face. kidding. I'm just kidding. No, uh, that one match, was it, was it a match where... There, it was Edge and Lita. They were in the middle of the ring with on a bed. It wasn't a match, but it was no. their live sex celebration. So okay, okay, winning yeah, the belt. Yeah. So can I, oh, let me uh, let me explain it for them for the fans. Uh, there was a wrestler Edge and a uh, and his girlfriend Lita was also wrestler. Um, they promoted. <laughs> they, <laughs> Oh, I thought it was Cody Rhodes. No, 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 that's Edge. That's Edge. Um, he on. promoted, and it was a week promotion, or I don't know, two weeks or a week promotion. I don't even of, remember. They're gonna air a live sex tape on Raw, and as a kid, we're like, "What? Uh, like, what's that, what sex is on TV?" I just heard the word "sex." I was like, "I guess." I'm in, huh? I was like, "I have to wait a whole week." I had to hide from my mom. So, so they they, they aired and Lita aired a live sex tape, and I guess they had a bed right in the middle of the ring. So, okay. so I remember, and growing up, and I was like, "Oh shit!" I know I wasn't tripping. I was like, wait, her nipples showed. Yes. Her nipples yes. showed. And I was like, yes. well, were they supposed to do that in general? Because no. they were hiding it. And I remember I was a little kid, I was like, ee, nipples. Right? <laughs> and then growing up. I hey, so I'm editing this shit. These guys are some horny ass monsters. You guys some horny boys. Anyways, back to the pod. I was like, a bunch of TikToks and videos are like, that was not supposed to happen, but it happened. Her, her, so little, little Leon, just, his shit just got up like, He's what the, like, what are they doing in that bed? They're like a Windows XP starting up. <laughs> that's crazy. And then, well, Alex, like, what's your furthest memory of, like, it being, like, or, yeah, your furthest memory of being horny? Being horny and dirty, okay. Yeah. And honestly, that's a good one, because I didn't get that one first, but that one came, like, a little bit, like, later, obviously. I remember the, Internet, yeah. yeah. Social media, you know, you start to learn a little bit more. For me actually like just genuinely watching um it was a debut for for those who do know and for those who don't um if you know the miz his wife what? but back then maurice weren't, yes maurice mm -hmm. so when she debuted she was putting up beignets coming to smackdown soon and i believe it was for like a whole month they I would do beignets yeah for a month it, almost, yeah. i think it was like a month or two because honestly it felt like forever until she <laughs> yeah and i was you. like what the fuck yeah. but Bro, I remember this so vividly because I was like, whoa, like, I, 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 mean, I swear, no different pause, I swear, I swear bro, like, I, I literally remember this so vividly. Her beignets were, her in the bathtub, literally no lights on, candle lit, like, obviously, you know, there's all the right lighting, she's in the bathtub, bubble bath. She's nude, I'm like, 100%. <laughs> so you could see, like, a little yeah. bit, like, those, you know, she has the soap on, yeah. and all that. And I'm just like, whoa, like, that is insane. Like, there is no, I, so yes, exactly. Right, I little swear, Alex. bro. Like, I'm, watching now. I'm watching now. I'm watching this. I swear. That, they honestly, gained the fan from there? In, from there? They gained the fan? I, I became a fan of women's wrestling. Like, right. Because you were a date. Religious. She didn't even wrestle. She didn't wrestle yet. She was a bit But I was a bit like, whoa, like, what the fuck is this? No, no, but then, like, I mean, I was a fan of, like, a few, like, to name, like, one specifically that I just genuinely, like, I rooted for her to, like, be death. I, I would I would genuinely get mad when she loses. Michelle McCool. Okay. Michelle McCool. Yeah. I swear. Literally, for, no, because she, 
She was doing AJ Styles' Styles Clash yeah. at the time. Like AJ was not in TNA. I mean, he was not in WWE at this time. He's in TNA or doing Ring of Honor or whatever. But I didn't see other women, you know, bust out moves kind of like the men. Yeah. For me, she was pulling off sick shit. So I was like, holy shit. Like, Michelle. Michelle was fucking cool, dude. The absolute shit. But to stay on top of it, you know, yeah, like, yeah. holy shit, you know, like. Wow, so, where are you going? Maurice. Maurice that, that was is yours? Exactly. Maurice was yours. I remember. I, yeah, she, she is bad, though. Yeah, yeah. I remember her, yeah. If not, look up Maurice. Maurice Vignes. to debut on Smack. I yeah. swear. And you'll know what crazy, we're talking about. Crazy. I understand. 100% yeah. crazy. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a good one, Maurice. Um, after this memory would be um, Trish Stratish versus uh, uh, Mickey James. I believe oh. I want to say WrestleMania. Not too sure what WrestleMania. But I want to say that match was like a top tier. No. That match, uh, that had me at like boinging. No, that no, had no. me going no, up, bro. No, I, no. That shit, I don't even know what it was, <laughs> bro, at that point. I was like, what is this going? How what is this happening right now? Because Dad, I, I got a question for you. Because I, I know this part of that storyline. I know exactly what storyline that is. Yeah. How did you feel when, when Mickey James just grabbed Trish and just kissed her? That part I just melted in my pants. Bro. Drop, right? I just dropped <laughs> in my knees, bro. I was like, I'm watching this. I'm a diehard fan. I'm watching this till I die, bro. Like, no, there was a part. I, I won't put it up, but I'll let you guys watch this shit. But Mickey James versus Trish Stratus, WrestleMania, I want to say, yeah, where she just grabs her head and kisses her. I guess Mickey James had a storyline where she was supposed to be a fan, a super fan, or a stalker of Trish Stratus. Maybe even like, Barely peak lesbian love for Trish Stratus. She was and, like her number one fan. And that fans. and that match revealed everything. Pretty yeah. much, I want to say it right. That match revealed everything. And and, and from watching that, I was like, I'm hooked. And uh, of course, following after all that, you had your additional bra and panties match and your fucking regular like swimming pool <laughs> and a mud match. Those were crazy. Those were crazy. So, that, so being but my but my furthest memory was that one for sure. Another thing I want to say, that's no different topic, um, maybe to someone who is um, barely starting to watch wrestling or WWE is getting to WWE, what, what match would you recommend to them? Um, both men's and women's, like what match would you recommend for someone who is like about to start watching wrestling for the first time and you're like, hey, watch this one to, watch to, this. to okay. get into it, to dive into it. Okay, you know? okay. I'm going to start with men's. Okay. I have two matches for men's because honestly, this could literally go either way. All right, same as same guy, but he wrestles a different dude. Yeah, um, he's formerly known as Walter, mm. currently known as Gunther, but Gunther. it's gonna be Gunther Ooh. or Walter versus Pete Dunne. Okay. For the NXT UK Championship. I want to say Walter. If you guys are gonna look it up, I say it's, I think it's Walter. Yeah, during that time. time. During that time, it's Walter. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But for current, because if you look at it, it they people yeah. change the name. But anyways, that's one. Okay. The other one is that's a good one. That's a good one. It's yeah. the same guy, Walter or Gunther, depending for how you want to go with Walter versus Elia Dragonov. Okay. okay. I want to say at an NXT takeover. Gunther during that time. He was fat. No, he was no, still Walter. Walter. Okay, he was still so Walter. Walter. Fat. So he just to help you guys out, it's Walter. Look at Walter. Look at Walter. But his but his name now it's Gunther. Yes, but I think they yeah. change it. He was fat. But that, at that yeah. time, yes, actually, he's he was. But mm -hmm. the man could literally fucking move. Yeah. And and his opponents were literally it, this match for people, you know, so you can get a perspective. It's literally David versus Goliath. I swear to you, he's the David, ring general. David versus Goliath. It, it's the modern. It's a modern story of David versus Goliath. You got your big man. You got your little man fighting for the championship. Literally, watching that match prior, if you don't know anything about them, that is 100% fine because they will give you a little clip of, you know, their history. Yeah, always before the match, they'll do a little vignette. A little, it's a vignette, yeah. It's a, you got your little clips on it. But this match, I, I believe it goes almost 40 minutes. It's a lot. Dra Dragonoff and Walter? No, both. Pete, oh, I, both? Pete, okay. Actually, Pete Dunne, and, and when he fights Pete, I believe that one goes almost Almost the hour. I oh, think. wow. Okay. The so other one, I believe it's like 40-ish. Okay. But regardless, it, it's a match that 
it's going to always have you at the edge of your seat. My point is for this for these two matches is to have you hood. Okay. You like watch you love watching movies, you have movies that keep you on the edge of your seat, you want more. This mat these two matches do not just point they're always going to have you I need to see I need to see the result. I need okay. to know what happens. And from there obviously, you know, do you want to continue? Trust me, you're going to yeah. want to continue watching. All right, and your women's? Um I'm going to go Bailey versus Sasha at an NXT takeover for the NXT Women's Championship in an Iron Woman match. Okay. So, it's okay. a 60 minute match. Yeah, 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 and they yeah. just go whoever has the most falls, whoever gets the most pins. Yeah, that's a good one. Or, huh? or, or yeah. submission. That match for me, great. I remember, honestly, like, I wasn't so big on NXT because on NXT I was like, well, like, what is NXT? But this was early days in a sense. And. It's like, whoa, like, it, it gives you a, a new perspective on women's wrestling. Like, Sasha, Bailey, All right. trust. There you go. You That's Alex's. Alex's. A must watch. Um, me, I'll, I'll, I'll go next if you don't mind. Um, me, for sure, women, I'll, I'll go off women first. Um, I mean, you could, oh, man, like, same thing with you two. I think for both women's, I, 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 I have two. An honorable mention. An uh, honorable, me- uh, honorable mention is um, the night Lita and Trish Jadish ever main evented Raw. The first time many many main eventing a Raw. Honor- okay, that so that was our first time. No, it was just a big moment for just women in general, just because you never, never, you never, never, been been, never been a main event at least for a woman. You know, women for a, usually, t- for a TV show. Yeah, for a TV show. So I think for sure, if if. That's like a like a definitely like a, a pivotal point for women right there in history that they could actually main event. So that one's an honorable mention, but for someone I would say that's watching for the first time, I definitely gotta recommend putting on NXT. Um, I think it's NXT Takeover with the four horsewomen: Charlotte Flair, Ric Flair's daughter, Sasha Banks, Snoop Dogg's uncle. Becky Lynch. Snoop Dogg's uncle. Oops. That's his beast. Sorry, guys. Snoop Dogg's beast. Had a little bit of few. Snoop Dogg's beast. That was like a Snoop. Sasha Banks and uh, Becky Lynch. So Charlotte Flair, Charlotte Flair, Sasha Banks, Becky Lynch, and Bailey all fighting. Fatal Four Way. Um, Fatal Four Way all fighting at NXT Rival. I believe it's NXT Rival at pay per view. Um, that match is 100% banger because every woman right there deserves a title spot. Every woman in there deserves a win. So the fact that they're in a fatal four-way and you don't know who who to cheer for, that's the best. Um, or well, switching to the men's, I would say for sure. Another honorable mention, um, I know you told me before off camera, um, I mean, I'll put it in there. Bad Bunny versus uh, Damian Priest. Oh, uh, yes. I, I actually say, did forget to mention that. Yes. I would say that's a very honorable mention for someone who's definitely new and wanting to watch because, I mean, everyone knows Bad Bunny. Yes. So, and then no one knows Damian Priest, but because Damian, but I mean, the because rest of you fans people do. People know of Bad Bunny. You're, you're going to want to tune in. Trust me. When he. And, 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 and when you tune in. The crowd, fucking the crowd was so epic. The crowd gave him his dues. His entrance, um, his bro. entrance was amazing. Loud the, pop. The pop was the pop meaning the crowd was with him. I've never seen a crowd sing his whole song at when at a wrestling. This mind I think that's you, a concert. Mind, mind you, this pay per view is in Puerto Rico. Oh, so that's home, even. home of both, both wrestlers, wrestlers, both, both wrestlers, Bad right, Bunny and, and Damian Priest. Priest. Now. My girl, she's a casual wrestling fan, but a huge fan of Bad Bunny. But she's like, like, what, what's going on? And I was like, you're going to want to tune in to see how this unfolds. When I tell you she was genuinely hooked, every Monday after work, she's like, hurry up, shower, get ready. Let's get our food ready to eat. And <laughs> we she's gotta like, get ready to have Raw on so we can by see the, time the I promo. Get home. Yeah. yeah, because by the time we're home... We we need to be prepped by the time it's five p.m. Yeah. to hit raw and so, just watch. So like I said, that's a very honorable mention for sure for Sam, yes. somebody that's gonna go into it. That match honor, honorable mention for sure for someone who is like really new. Um, Bad Bunny versus Damian Priest. Backlash? What? Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah backlash, backlash Puerto Rico. Backlash, yes. So watch that. Watch that. Um, but my pick for men's, I would say, is a. Uh, Rock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns SummerSlam. That's a very fun match. I want to say to somebody's new fun. Um, 
quirky, wild. They still beat on each other. It's still like a death match almost. But you have your little fun and you know, in between towards the end of the match, something funny happens where they lift up the whole, you know, the ring. ring. You know, it's crazy. The tractor. Yeah. So I mean, that one I would recommend to someone. You know, starting new. Um, for women, yeah. I would for sure pick. Um, ooh, I'll say Sasha Banks versus Becky Lynch at the Hell in a Cell. That's Sasha like, Banks versus Becky. Okay. Yeah. Oh yes, I remember that one. Yeah, that was, oh, was Charlotte. No, 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 no. Becky has it. Oh, yeah, Becky did have also, one. I believe I've also seen Sasha was Bailey now, so, but, but I know that match. Yeah. yeah. I believe, yeah, yeah. So keep That's that short. Uh, for men's, honorable mention, just to get, you know, the new people into, like, the history of WWE, it, this is a really good match, even though it was, like, I want to say it was kind of like a little, like, little TV show, you know, uh, soap opera kind of, would be, uh... For the real wrestling. Yeah, it would be, uh... Yeah. Um, well, I'm throwing a blank. I had his name. Oh, sorry. Bray Wyatt, The Fiend versus John Cena at WrestleMania where they had throw a whole history. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. 20, 2020. Fire, yeah, Firefly Funhouse. Yeah, Funhouse. Fire, fire, Because John Cena, well, not even John Cena, Bray Wyatt threw back all the past. You know, NWO. Yeah. You know, the Ruthless Aggression Era. Like, and my, all of that stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, I, we're yeah, all yeah, of that. Dr. Doug Economics. So it's Dr. all the history Dr. of the back there. Okay. But for sure, the main men match with just the greatest for the first, you know, just to start, would be for sure, uh, it would be Shawn Michaels versus Ric Flair. The retirement the retirement Flair. match. Oh, That's what you would recommend? Yeah, 100% would recommend that. I genuinely cried at that yeah. match. Yeah. Just for those two fighting each other because they both have rich history together. Yeah. And the fact that that last finishing move was Shawn, uh, Shawn Michael looking straight into his, his best buddy that he grew up with in wrestling his eyes and saying, I love you, and then finishing him off. Oh. Yeah. Oh. And then Jeez. that after that third Jeez. pin... And then just Tears. fucking hugging him, but like Tears. you could, you could, you could just guess what he was saying to him, like "Thank you for all of you." Know, all the yeah. 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 That match is literally a roller coaster. Right? Watch Shawn Michaels versus Ric Flair. It's full of your, ha it's joy, sadness, heartache, what, whatever, anything that you look for in, you know, what TV, movies, etc. This match gives Ooh, it. All. This will bring it out. This will bring out the emotion. This, yeah. this match is yeah. really full of emotion. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's an emotional roller coaster. Mm -hmm. to, to, to being back up that, talking about the matches, what's uh, well, what's your best match? Like, best far, match as far like as like, yeah, 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 like, like a wrestling fanatic, a diehard wrestling fan, what's your best wrestling match? That way the fans can see if their fans are wrestling uh, fans as well, where you're coming from or what. Big Show versus Aki, Aki Bono in a. In a uh, Best match ever. Best has match? match? Gun to your head. Best match ever. Ooh. What's your WWE best match ever? WWE best match? Yes. Oh, shit, I mean. Any CM Punk match, honestly, for me. Any CM Punk match. I really? swear. CM Punk for me is the greatest. But. Like a match that I can just genuinely just throw on is best match ever. Who, uh, honestly, I'm probably gonna stay with John Cena versus AJ Styles. Okay. Just for uh, you know, the, I'm pretty sure there's that, been, that match really that, just stuck with you. Yeah, yeah. On, because growing up, I wasn't exposed to anything outside of WWE. Okay, that was I I followed AJ for a very long time. Mm. Outside of WWE, so to like finally see him come to WWE, I'm just like, holy shit! Phenomenal, that, it, literally phenomenal, phenomenal. Yeah. One word to describe him as phenomenal. Literally one of my favorites of all. Time. Literally, um, the goat. Swear, yeah. I, one of my favorites. The yeah. feud, the match, it really puts in because obviously you know people are like, oh you know it's John Cena this and that, but. It really puts John Cena in that space of I need to wrestle my pants off. Yeah. Because yeah. AJ Styles is literally mm -hmm. full on reps. That man is yeah. pants. Him. Oh, uh, yours, Leon? Like your best match ever? Honestly, and the only reason why it's my best match because it was, like I said, my childhood. And just that warm feeling that, not, not that warm feeling, <laughs> but that warm feeling of being feeling happy for him. Okay. Swinging that tire right there. 
And it was Who? WrestleMania. 22. 22. Mm-hmm. Rey Mysterio versus Kurt Angle. I knew it. Boom. What I did not expect that to win that. Bad. No one expected that. And okay. So, he fucking. We're going to, I mean, same thing like you said. David and Goliath, you always yeah. win against the the odds. And he went with two, with fucking two of the biggest names of superstars. Yes, the Kurt Angle, Kurt the wrestling machine. Yes, the legend killer that and the Olympic the, gold medalist who wow. won it with a broken neck. A broken, a broken freaking, freaking neck. neck. And for his, oh you know, my god, and just just his entrance that day too, showing off his new Thank song with you. Pod. That entrance, you guys need to watch 100%. Oh, WrestleMania 22, 22, Rey Mysterio versus Kurt Angle versus Randy Orton, triple threat for the World Heavyweight Championship. 100% one of the greatest. That's a good but, one, yeah, but like I was saying, the, the, that's my best match ever because, you know, as a child, you know, like I said earlier, you know, Rey, rest, Rey Mysterio was, was your guy. my guy, my yeah. hero. Mm-hmm. And for him to win one of the biggest titles at that time, I don't remember what he Well, to go a little bit off topic, how'd you feel when he won the Royal Rumble then? Like, since oh, that's I your was, guy. I was so high. I think, honestly. Going like, in at number one out of 30 people, well, 29 people. I think people. he was two. He was two. Oh, he was two, two but okay. he still, he still, Wait, so still was yeah. still your and, and, But yeah. what was crazy about that is I remember, uh, I think, uh, there was a match for, for it to go to WrestleMania, and Randy Orton wins to versus Kurt Angle for it. So, uh... Ray Mysterio was out of it, and he was sad about it because you know he won the Royal Rumble. I remember Teddy Long's like, "Nah, motherfucker, you earned that shit. <laughs> yeah. Make it into a triple threat, th- uh, triple, triple threat, threat, threat match." Yeah. And I'm like, "Fuck yeah!" So they made it into a triple threat match at WrestleMania, and, and that's where no you... one expected. What? Well, I didn't. I mean, for me, I didn't expect him for to win that match. But yeah. when he did. I was like, <laughs> "Oh shit!" It was a good heartfelt moment. Oh, yeah. Heartfelt moment for sure. Because I'm not just him winning the title, but he was also uh, winning the title for his best friend, Eddie Guerrero. R.I.P. And, and that was like towards the year that he passed away, right? Was, I think it was the same year. Oh, no, no 2007. No, no, no. I, I 2007 think was, he, he passed, what, 2006? He won six. Okay. Okay. Six. Six. So, yeah. 2007 was WrestleMania. So there was a lot of things he was fighting for. And yeah. it just felt, yeah, it was a hard feel. And just a, like uh, you said, the storyline even, too. Even well, that storyline yeah, leading like, into that WrestleMania was just so... Uh, not even WrestleMania, but that match was honestly, just so fucking so incredible. Honestly, to back off of that, because I believe you did mention mm-hmm. earlier, um, I don't know if it was on camera or off camera, you mentioned Rey Mysterio versus Eddie Guerrero for the custody of Rey Mysterio's oh, yeah. son, mm-hmm. Dominic. Yeah. So obviously, for many who do know and for many who do not know, Rey Mysterio actually has a son who is now in the business. He, Which is per- he wrestles in WWE with his dad. Uh, they're not together like tag team anymore, but prior, way back then, when Eddie was still with us, they had a match, and the storyline was that Rey's son was Eddie's, Eddie's, oh, Eddie's legitimate, Eddie's child, legitimate, child, legitimate yeah. child, but oh my goodness, for me, like growing up, I mean, that, as was, a that kid, was a kid, story. That, was, that, was, that was the damage and now, story. And now growing up. That's his son. WWE kind of fuck Ray, bro, because every all his best friends portrays the poor man. Yeah. Eddie, Batista. Ed's <laughs> Ed, yeah. no, I'm not thinking Edge kept it. I think Edge kept it 100, right? Yeah, he no, kept it 100. No, he fought, yeah, he fought yeah, Ray before. Far. To go off of me, then, um, my best match, I would, I would say, is um, definitely has to be um, One Night Stand, ECW. This, this is the thing. WWE is kind of linked to ECW. This is a different brand, per se. There was this pay-per-view one time called ECW One Night Stand. Um, 2007, I want to say. I'm not too sure. Don't don't fact. I want to say 2006. Yeah, but for sure the pay-per-view was called One Night Stand. Um, RVD, Raw, Van, Damn, versus my GOAT, John Cena, right? And the, the, thing, whole and the thing is... I love both of these guys. Like, like I told you before, John Cena is the GOAT for sure. But but RVD just had that edgy vibe. He was a high flyer. Um, if you guys kind of know Jeff Hardy, wrestling fans know Jeff Hardy. He was another Jeff Hardy pretty much, but just edgier, hardcore, like cussed and everything. He was 420 friendly. Um, <laughs> and this, 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 <laughs> night, this night, for some reason, John Cena his whole life has been cheered on. For decades, everyone loved him. He was the number one hero. This one night, one night stand, like it says, one night, fans booed the fuck out of John Cena <laughs> Hated since him. we came out of the entrance. Yep. And I love that arena so much because that entrance 
was so enclosed. There was no barricade. So ironic. No, they, 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 they had, but they, it was just it was a tiny barricade. barricade. It wasn't anything much. Where where you, you could, could move it. Where you could barely walk through. And all these fools is talking shit to John Cena. John Cena. Shit, and, then, and, and, and this is and a WWE belt was on the line at a non WWE uh, show. And so that match from beginning to end, I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys because it is a fucking roller coaster. So, but into of a perspective, not, not to cut you off, no, no, no. but to beanbag off that was, um, I actually do remember this vividly. John makes his entrance, yes. and well, you know how he always he has his shirt on always. He takes it off, yes. and he always throws it in oh, the crowd. So yep. he's oh, throwing yeah. it, and they're throwing that shit back, bro. And they're the crowd throwing they throw that it shit back. back, and they're flipping him off. Yes. Flipping, flipping him, him off, saying he can't wrestle. That was even shit. That was the infinite, the infamous sign. If Cena wins, we riot. We, we riot. riot. And a hundred percent, that's not bullshit. That yeah, crowd, right. that crowd, crowd, you could feel the energy. That energy would have went. Yeah, because at, like I said, they Nuts. were throwing shit. They were throwing fucking whatever they could find. Water, beer. I think I saw fucking toilet paper being thrown. Well, well, sure, well, yeah. The, the whole. I, well, aside from that match, that whole pay per view, yeah, that's what the crowd was. ECW against WWE, yeah, and and pretty much I think all those matches were like an ECW wrestler versus WWE, and so that whole vibe. So and that was the main event: oh, RVD yeah. versus John Cena for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship, and that match was fucking phenomenal. I'm not gonna spoil it, but you guys definitely need to watch it. The whole from the crowd, from the entrances, from the crowd. To the match itself from the ending, it was awesome. So that's my best match ever. And I could watch that fucking days on and days on. I think. I think a little quick thing. short match to add to that. I don't I believe it's that pay-per-view too. Um, okay, I don't right. know if you remember this. Ray Mysterio. Well, Ray, oh, yeah, Ray, Ray, Ray Mysterio. Mysterio was, talking about. Ray Mysterio was world heavyweight champion at the time. And he put the world title on the line versus Sabu. the homicidal, suicidal, so genocidal, death-defying Sabu. Sabu. Oh Shout out to the OG no Sabu. That match, See, that match was, was literally fucking crazy. I, I honestly, me, like, I was like, oh, you know, growing up, you know, Ray Mysterio fan, like, Leon and I had already said, you always see him pull out some crazy shit, but, bro, ECW he was, was on a whole nother level oh, where yeah. it... it Ray Mysterio brought up so he literally had to bring on his entire arsenal mm-hmm. versus Sabu, Sabu because Sabu was literally the same shape. He did not give a single. Yeah, dude. I think I think that match for sure. The OGs will definitely that's a, love. Yes, it's a match they definitely appreciate. That's, that's definitely, but yeah. Now, real quick, real, oh, just real, yeah, real quick. Yeah. We're getting messages. Uh, I think it's a perfect time to shout out with this uh, this one family. <laughs> oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Hey, shout out to the Polito family. That is true. Yes. Mark A. Mark, I'm sorry. I'm going to put you, you're right here, but right here. Hey, Soul. Thank you for all my tats, homie. <laughs> Hey, no, we can't get that big. No, Vicky, we love you, Vicky. Shout out, Vicky. Shout out to the other moms. Shout out to the Polito's. Shout out to the Polito's. We appreciate you guys for watching a lot. And Mark. And Mark. And Mark. We appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys a lot. Sorry about that. And um, enough, the fans are always taking us in. Yes. Welcome us with open arms. And Mark. Thank you guys. Thank you guys so much. You guys are number, our number one fans. Thank you for tuning in. We can't, we can't forget about you guys. We definitely got to give you guys a shout out because you guys do listen. And Mark. And Mark. Well, let's stay on the topic of WWE for a little bit. Um, Leon, what's your favorite theme song out of all the WWE theme songs? Because they have bangers. Damn. What's your favorite theme song? Bangers. Because they do have bangers. Sure. Out of all of them, they are bangers. Damn, that's. And what, before you even answer, I actually, I'm gonna have a question. Well, actually, I'm gonna have you guys answer both of you because you guys actually do this. Okay. Um, do you guys listen to any of the theme songs when you guys are at the gym? Hell yeah! Okay, I just want to add that, right? Yeah, I, was so like, yeah, like, I yeah. guess this is my favorite. Ah, fuck, dude. But I do have general. one that is in the gym, but that also is my favorite. Okay, that's yeah, thing. that's, that's the same. Yeah, that's me too. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm going to add this because I do listen to it a lot. And I, I guess it's my favorite. Ah, fuck, dude. I'll say Kingdom. Cody Rhodes? Right. What was that? King okay. Cody Rhodes. I love it. Honestly, if I would have say my favorite, and <laughs> Alex will know this, will be uh, 
Shinsuke Nakamura's theme song, brother, so fire. Going to a WWE event with Leon when Shinsuke came out, I swear he popped. Like that man, this man literally just got off his seat and just started yeah. going. Oh my so I'll say, Honestly, I'll say that would be yeah. like my favorite. Your favorite? favorite. Okay, okay. Um, Nathan, what is your favorite theme song? Okay. It has to be Kane's old theme song, Slow Chemical. Oh yeah, that one. That was good. Wait, did Fire. you say my slow? By Kane? By Kane. Kane's theme song. Oh my goodness! Fire. Loved it. I think that one I'm is fire. Nice. Remember how and, it goes. And, and and the same thing like what you said. Um, what's my favorite gym one? That one. Slow Chemical by my Kane. Song. Oh my! I goodness. put that on on the on the gym. Top three, top I'm, three. I'm going hard. I'm, it's okay. top two, and it's not even two. I'm 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 lifting two plates, three plates, four plates. I don't care. Ten, Ten plates. Put that song on. I'm going ham. That that Shout one, but right. banger. That one, banger. that one is a banger. Respect, respect. Like I, like I said, I put that on the gym. Respect. I, that's that. I think that's my no, number one for for sure. For yeah. Me. You you. Well, I I think I have an idea. Now, you already can, can, can I say it? Can I say it? Can I say it? Yeah. Here comes Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Literally <laughs> the best. Yeah, 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 literally the best. What is it? CM Punk's original theme before BCW. Cults of Personality. No, not even like. Actually, yeah, I mean, it was yeah. ECW, but yeah, she was. Yeah. So say it. Wait. CM Punk's original theme prior to him getting Cults of Personality by Kill Switch Engage. This fire burns. Mm -hmm. Swear. That's fire, yeah. Banger. What? That one was a good one. That's if I one. have to do another one, and I think you both are going to know this one, you guys have to guess it easily. Is it someone who's still wrestling now? Yes. Shouts and Benjamin. No. Jackson. No. Can I play it? Can I play it? I think I have an idea. I think I have an idea. If you play this correctly, what Nathan will kiss you. Okay. <laughs> Get it right! Get it right! They they what was it? It was a clash of clash of the clash of the castle, castle, castle where they fucking did it for almost, a little bit and almost. they're like, no, let's bring let's go here. But no, like, the gallery, so, they went to gallery. so that okay, so if you guys don't know, because we're we're geeking out. OG fans are like <laughs> geeking out too. That's Drew McIntyre's OG theme song, the chosen one. Drew McIntyre. Banger. Okay, but so to kind of stay on that topic. What made it so banger? The song or the vignette for that? Because no, also the vignette the song, for that. Song take, take away the vignette because he, for me, it like was just that incident. the song just felt so powerful that it made you like invest in your. Now for me, the Drew, Drew, Drew it, yeah. was, you know, Drew was cool. And but at the time, you know, he was deemed the chosen one that in the future he'd be the crowned king. Yeah, yeah, at yeah. that moment, he's the uncrowned king. But in the future, he's going to be. The one, yeah, 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 the one to carry this business into the future. Yeah, yeah this of course, company, of course. This theme song actually genuinely represents now what he is yeah, currently. Currently, but you know, for legal reasons, you can and you gotta pay the fee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, yeah, of course, of course, now, of course. But, but that's your... that theme song literally just that right is, here makes yeah. you feel. Like, honestly, you listen to that shit makes you feel like you can do anything. Yeah, not on YouTube. That's anything. a good one. That's a good one. All right, so I mean. To conclude it off of that, I think that was a good uh, edition of the Bean Bag Boys podcast. I Wrestling so. edition, for sure. Wrestling, Wrestling edition. edition. So, um, without further ado, I'll let Alex close it out for us. And if you ain't down with that, you got two words for you. Suck it! There you go, baby. All right. We'll have a good one. See you guys next podcast. And remember, good night, ladies. Not, Not gentlemen. gentlemen.